comes a pretty exciting part of building a cigar box guitar, especially with this oak neck from CB Giddy. It comes with a paddle headstock. And the reason it's shaped like this is they've let enough wood on it so that you can shape your headstock however you want. For mine, I've got this grand piano scroll that's going to go at the top right here and with two little scrolls here. Um, my design was inspired by a photograph of an old bluesman named Ishman Bracey. And he was holding a, it was like a Sears guitar, that type of acoustic guitar. But it had that type of headstock. I wish I knew the name of the guitar company off the top of my head because I love old cheap guitars so much, but I can't remember right now. But this is the shape I'm going with, and I'm going to have two tuners on this side, two tuners on that side. Now, I have a nice vise here. I invested in a vise and install it on my workbench, and I have the guitar in there. I made sure to wrap it in some cardboard to protect those frets in the fretboard. And I'm just going to take this old-fashioned saw, handsaw, and I am going to just cut most of the design. I'm going to go a little bit over. And once I'm done, I can then go to my belt sander and even my spindle sander and uh, just freshen up the edges there. So that's what's next. I can't wait to see this when it's done. Quick entry here. Uh, got an idea for this headstock. Headstock came out beautiful. Let me put it back against a different backdrop. Okay, uh, since I'm building this guitar out of CB Giddy parts, um, I took this. He sells these fretboard underlays for the 2x4 lap steels, and they're made from old or from vintage style drum wrap. And the idea is I'm taking a piece of it and I'm going to glue it to the headstock. And once it's glued, then I'm going to trim it. And so it'll have a classic, like old Regal guitars look to it on the headstock, this perloid cover. Um, so I'm going to attempt to use this Gorilla Glue spray adhesive, and what I, I'm hoping that it works. I'm hoping it doesn't start to chip off. But there we go. That's my next step. And here's the headstock. I applied the drum wrap to it. I put the spray adhesive on it, and then a nice big flat piece of scrap wood clamped down and I'm going to let that go for two hours.